Okay, Pyro fan forum members, somebody was asking about if you put an e-match or a talon in the lift of a consumer shell, how do you keep that wire on that e-match or that talon so it doesn't yank your module up in the air when you fire the shell? Do it exactly the same as you do with a commercial mortar. I've taken this Excalibur tube here and drilled a quarter inch hole in it there and that's exactly how the professional mortars are set up they either have a hole or they've got a screw screwed into the rack I'm not going to actually drop a shell because I'm in the house but let's assume that I had a shell hanging on the end of this match you're going to drop the shell in the mortar you make a loop with your wire and bring it through the hole from the inside and then take the wire that goes to the module and make another little loop in it and put it through the loop that's coming out of the hole and then go, go inside and pull the wire tight. So now when the shell goes up and it's got the wire attached to it, it's going to pull against that loop and it's not going to put any tension on the module. That's how you do it. Let me show it again. Just bear with me a minute. You got your shell with your match or your talon, drop it down in there, make a loop, bring it through from the inside of the mortar to the outside, make another loop in the wire that's going to the module, pass it through that loop, and then tighten it by pulling from inside the mortar. So now when the shell goes up, it's going to yank on your tube. Now these consumer tubes are pretty small and lightweight. I don't really think the shell would necessarily knock that over if you have this in a rack. <clears throat> if you have this by itself, the ascending shell may knock it over but it doesn't have enough force to take the whole thing up in the air and ultimately apply tension on your module so that's, that's exactly how the pros do a loop in the field with commercial fireworks you can do that with your consumer fireworks alternatively if you've got your consumer fireworks in a rack you can just put screws in your rack and wrap this around the screw and get the same effect